Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. Today we will see the basic operations that you have to know about the MQTT protocol. In the next video, I will make an example where you will control an LED with a push button. In the third video, it will be a sensor network with the MQTT. In the MQTT architecture, you have a server called a broker. I have installed the Mosquito on my computer. The devices can send their data to the broker. The operation is called the publishing. The devices can also receive information. For that, they need to subscribe to a topic. And anytime there will be a change on the data, the subscriber will be updated. I assume that you have the Mosquito broker installed in your computer. You need also to add the MQTT client library. You will find it under the resources category. Now I will run the Mosquito service and I will try to test that to be sure. Now I will uh, subscribe to a topic. You need to uh, know the IP address of your computer. The last parameter here is the topic. I chose the name test. Now I will run a command to publish a message on the test topic. As you can see, the message was received there. Now let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tunyot for ESP8266. Make a zoom of 90%. First, I will connect it to the network. Call the MQTT connect uh, block and put it after the connection part. Put the IP of your broker. Now add the MQTT loop into the main loop. Every time you use the MQTT protocol, you need to call all these blocks in the same time. Later, we will know more about the last three. Now, if you want to send data to your broker, you have to use the MQTT publisher block. For that, your data should be into a variable. In the first example, I will send a number. Change the name of the topic. Here I will increment my variable after being sent.
Now we are ready to test our code. As you can see, the broker is receiving the number every 5 seconds. So the communication between my board and the broker is perfect. Now I will try to send the text data. For that, the variable should be a char pointer. It's very important. Here I will send a message on or off. Don't forget to change the type on the publisher block to string. And this is the result. Now we will see how to get data from the broker. For that, you need to subscribe to a topic. Put the block into the connector to the server. The callback block or function will be triggered every time there is an update on the topic. It will return the name of the changing topic and the data. The MQTT loop block will be responsible to ask uh, to the server for updates uh, on the subscribed uh, topics. Here I will show uh, on the serial monitor the received value. Now we are ready to test. Here my board is connected to the broker and waiting for updates. I will try to publish some data with the command line. And here we are. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.